Hey guys, so I'm now going to show you our technical analysis strategy. So this strategy um, is very easy to modify, by the way, uh, to do really any kind of technical analysis that you want. I know uh, a lot of you out there are very interested in using technicals to trade uh, for stocks. You can do this for crypto. You could do this for options, for futures, for Forex, right? I'm going to show you with stocks, but you could really use it across many different asset classes. Crypto, I've seen some pretty impressive results as well. We're going to be making another video about that, showing you technical analysis for crypto. Uh, but here I'm going to show you for, for stocks. Right, and what we're doing here, uh, what I'm going to be showing you here, and, and let me run this for you. I'm going to run uh, what we call a back test, where uh, basically uh, we're going to do simulated trading. So it's as if this strategy ran, um, as if you owned it since 2016, January 1st, all the way until 2022, March 1st. Right. So what would have happened if you had ran this strategy that entire time? Right. And uh, you'll see basically the results we get back, uh, our back test, and then we'll automatically buy for us as well in our broker. You see, this is the broker. Uh, we have nothing there right now. It will automatically, after the back test, automatically buy this for us. And if we ran this strategy um, forever, it would just continue doing this for us and keep running it for us, okay? So what this strategy does is talk about that while we get this back test uh, finished up, right? Um, so this strategy, what it does is it buys two symbols, UPRO and TMF, right? Which is uh, stocks and bonds. And this is our result, by the way. Here's, and we'll talk about this in a second. Blue line being our strategy, right? And uh, another, another thing. So blue line is our strategy. Red line is the S&P 500, right? So we smoked the S&P 500. Let me show you how we did that. So basically we buy two assets, UPRO and TMF. UPRO is... Uh, 3x leveraged, uh, leveraged uh, S&P 500, right? SPY, right? Or S&P 500. And then TMF is based on 3x leveraged um, uh, treasury bonds, right? Treasure, treasury bonds, right? So um, there you go, treasury bonds. So uh, basically we're buying these two assets, okay? And we're buying them based on RSI, right? So we're looking at the RSI on the S&P 500, right? RSI is one type of technical analysis they can do. There's many other ones they could do. You could do MACD, you could do average true range. There's, there's so many different things they could do and it's very easy for you to swap it out and try your own and see what else you can find with this. But the RSI generally what we say is it's, it kind of tells us is the market overbought or oversold, right? So, uh, what we do in the case that uh, RSI is low, it's basically saying to us that the market is oversold. So what we do is we go 100% into stocks. The 3X leverage stocks, we go 100% into them, right? If the other way, if, that, if the RSI is instead of under 33, which is a low RSI, if we have a high RSI, we're going to go 100% into bonds because we're going to say the stock market is overheating. So we need to take a break from stock market and we go into bonds instead and we hold on to that. You could swap this asset out. You could try different things. You could try maybe buy crypto or maybe you wanna buy, um, you know, some other, you know, foreign stocks or, you know, whatever it is uh, else that you think would make sense, but we're using these two here, right? So when RSI is very low, we're hundred percent into uh, UPRO. When RSI is very high, we're hundred percent into TMF. So those bonds, right? And then if it's somewhere in the middle between 33 and 66, then we have 60% into stocks, UPRO, and 40% into bonds, uh, TMF, okay? And that's all we're doing. We're, we're looking at the RSI and we're doing this constantly. We're doing this on a regular basis. This bot is constantly running and doing this adjustment for us, right? So now when I go back to my broker, you see that I automatically bought these two. Right now, RSI is somewhere in the middle. So it bought 60, 40. Right, if we keep running this thing, um, you'll see RSI changes and will automatically swap these things out for you and sell and buy automatically, right? Okay. We see the, that our back test results are actually very good, right? So this is, if we, this is simulated trading called back test, right? So if we had run this thing since 2016 up until today, which is beginning of March, right? This is how we would have performed. The red line is S&P 500, 
the blue line is our strategy. And you see this thing just took off like a monster, right? Did very, very well. It's been beating the S&P for quite some time, but lately it's really, really shot up and beat it by quite a large margin, right? Uh, we can also take a look at our care sheet, which gives us more information, right? You see the same pattern here. Blue is our, our strategy. Yellow is the benchmark, or in other words, uh, the S&P 500, right? Uh, you can see here that the benchmark over this time period did 115% return. We did 243%, right? So we did quite a bit better than the stock market where we really shot up quite a bit. Uh, and you can see that our sharp ratio is, is kind of similar, right? Um, meaning that risk adjusted, um, we're, we're doing about the same risk adjusted, but we're still having much higher returns, right? Uh, then you could also look down and you'll see all these different things about what happened on each period of time. And if you take our classes, we'll show you how to do this. It's quite easy for you to do. You can modify this stuff, right? You see that we beat the S&P 500 on quite a few different years. Uh, we beat in 2017, our strategy one, 2019, our strategy one, 2020, our strategy one, and 2021, our strategy one. Beat it by quite a large margin in each one of those years. Uh, we didn't beat it in 2018 or 2022, but you know you can't win every single year, right? And if you continue on down, you kind of see how all the stuff shakes out and you can see very detailed statistics, how we did every single month. For example, March, 2022, we had a big loss, right? But we made that money back pretty much immediately the next month in April, right? Um, and then you can see how we performed on each other, each every other month, right? January, not so hot, neither was the stock market, right? So we're, we're kind of in line with that. Uh, 2022, January, we did very well, right? You can see basically every single month how things uh, shook out, right? Okay, so that's our strategy. If we kept this running, it would keep making us money over time. And you can run this on a cloud, you can run this on your computer uh, and just you know sit back, relax and watch this, uh, watch this thing make you some cash, right? Cool, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you choose to take one of our courses, we can show you how to do this and even modify it to use uh, your favorite technical indicator, right? Um, if you want to use average true range, if you want to use MACD, if you want to use whatever else you have in mind, we can modify that very easily to use your favorite indicator and see how it would have performed. Right. Thank you very much.